After seeing the theory, let's get started with the Python application of Bollinger Band. In order to do so, we are going to start, as usual, by importing our raw packages, which means we are going to start by importing pandas, pandas data reader in order to import data, and daytime. Let's execute. Okay. Once we have imported our raw packages, we are going to set up a start and end date. Start date will be the 4th February 2018 and the end date will be the 29 May 2020. I just chose random dates. You can change if you want to, to extend the range, if you want to narrow the range. But overall, here we are just here to understand how we can apply and automate Bollinger Band by using Python. Okay, now once we have imported our raw packages and set up our start and end date, we are going to download data from a shares. You have the choice, you can either choose the SMP 500, you can, you can choose Tesla, you can choose Apple. For this case, I'm going to choose Jacobs Engineering. Jacobs Engineering is a company, is an American company based on electrical engineering. I love to take these shares because it's just based on my feelings because I got a lot of good experience with these shares and they brought me a lot of money, but that's something which is totally different. But yeah, I'm going to choose for this case Jacobs Engineering. I'm going to call a variable jacobsdf in order to store, to store the data frame of jacobs details. As usual, in order to import data, we are going to use the Yahoo Finance API through Pandas Data Reader. The tickers for jacobs engineering is J. We set up our start date, which is equal to the 4th February 2019, and the end date, which will be the 29th May 2020. Let's execute. And now what we are going to do, we are going to check if the data that we have imported are correct. Okay, everything looks to be all right. We have our start date, our end date. And now that we have some raw data, what we are going to do on this market data, we are going to apply what we have learned with Sami on Bollinger Band. Let's set up a title and call it Bollinger Band. Bollinger Band. Oh, let's use lower letter application. Okay, let's execute. Okay, and now that we have that we have set up our raw data that we have downloaded this data. What we are going to do, if you remember well how Bollinger Band are working, you have three bands. You have a middle band, which is gonna be the average of, tw of the last 20 period. You will have the upper band and the lower band. Let me type it. Okay, the lower band and the upper band. We will have to set up these three, these three values. Essentially, we will create three new columns with this with the value which will be determined for each one of the of the band. Concerning the middle band, we are going to choose the closing the closing time the closing price sorry with a rolling period of twenty days. Essentially, you can, if you want to be more precise, you can do a weighting moving average, which means bringing more weight on the latest values. In this case, it's just a quick Bollinger Band application. And what we are going to do right here is to use, to make an average of the 20 days rolling period. In order to do so, what you're gonna have to do is to choose Jacob DF close. 
from the data frame you are going to choose the column close and you will have to add dot row link and between parentheses you will have to specify window equal 20 that will work as well if you just use 20 but if you want to be more precise concerning the arguments and in terms of readability it's always good to precise it with a rolling period of 20 days and what you want you don't want the max or the min you want oh sorry or the minimum but you want the average the mean essentially what we are going to do here is you will pandas will will make an average of the 20 last days period concerning the closing price once you have set up your your middle band concerning the upper band and lower band that will, that, that will work by the same way essentially what we are going to do here we are going to use jacob df middle band right here plus one sorry here is like minus one point ninety six times times the closing price with a rolling period of twenty days times the standard deviation of the twenty last days up dot std because we don't want the mean we want the standard deviation of the 20 last days and similarly for the upper band but instead of using minus 1.96 we are going to use 1 plus 1.96 some people are using two times the standard deviation some people 1.95 to be more precise i'm using 1.96 but we can even go further if i remember well it's 1.96 Nine five six, but yeah, I'm just rounding it to one point ninety six. Okay, let's execute. That must be working. Okay, we can now explore our data frame. Okay, we have three new columns. The first one is the middle band. The second one is the lower band, and the third one is the upper band. Essentially, we don't have any value here because we're making the average of the 20 period 20 last period which means like if we go on between 0 and 20 we'll have non attributed value because we will not have enough value to apply your rolling period okay everything looks good and now that we have applied that we are going to check out visually the band on which we have to buy or to sell the shares and how does that work let's go let's do that Let's add a title that we are going to call visualization. Viz. Okay. If you remember well, when we when we were using Plotly, you needed three steps in order to develop your algorithm. First of all, we are going to import Plotly as graph object. Then we will have to declare the figure. Once we declare the figure, we will have to set up the traces. Right here, concerning the traces, we will have three different traces plus um, plus a candlestick. And once everything is set up, we'll have to ask Plotly to show the figure. So show figure. Okay, let's go. Let's do that. Okay, we are going to start by declaring the figure by f as usual fig equal go dot figure. Okay, let's continue. Concerning the traces, we will have to plot. First of all, we have to plot the middle band, upper band, and lower band. Just as a simple as a simple scatter plot. What I did here is I choose to use the middle band in blue, the upper band in red, and the lower band in green. Essentially, why I choose to use the lower band in green because that's gonna be our buying signals. <coughs> that's gonna be our buying signals, which means that that's gonna be the time when we have to buy the shares. When that's gonna be highly recommended to buy the shares. By contrast, in red, that's gonna be the moment to sell the shares 
which is going to be the upper band, and the middle band is going to be the 20 days rolling period, sorry, the 20 last period rolling period. Okay, and now that we have the three, the three traces, you will see what's going to be the results. Let me just ask Plotly to show the figure. Let's execute. Yeah, as you can see, that's not complete. What you, what we need right here is we need to to have the um, share price and how the share price is moving. That's why what we are going to add here, we are going to add a candlestick with uh, our open high closed value. You can just use your closing price, but with candlestick that make more sense. Okay, yeah, right here for instance, uh, as you can see, as you can see the, um, we can we can zoom wherever for instance, if we zoom during this period, for instance here, uh, here um, the algorithm is asking you to buy and here the algorithm is asking you to sell, to buy here, to sell here. As you can see, that looks to be quite efficient. Even if Jacobs Engineering doesn't look to be the one which fitting perfectly with the Bollinger Band, but you will see that we are going to see that in the last chapter when we are going to automate the Bollinger Band application. You will see that that's working more or less with certain shares. With certain shares are not sensitive to Bollinger Band, uh, some shares will be more sensitive to it. Okay, uh, just in order to close this session on, of how to apply Bollinger Band, what we will do here is we are going to just add title and we will done, we will be done with it. Pulling your band strategy and on the y axis, check up engineering stock price in USD per shares. Let's execute. Okay, perfect. And now you have your bowling urban application. For instance, if we if you apply to today's, you will have to you will be able to know when you should buy or sell your shares. For instance, if you look in the last days, we eat this. For instance, if you are trading. Um, you see that the share price of Jacobs Engineering is hitting 80, is hitting around 85.7 USD. That means that's going to be the right time to sell. Or again, for instance, here, if you see that the share price hits 75, that's going to be the right time to buy. Which means if you would apply Bollinger Band strategy for yourself, you, you would have bought the shares on the 12th of May at 75 USD and you will sell it at 85, which is a very good gain. It's like more than 10% of gain, which is quite good in less than one month. For instance, someone we, who is stocking his money in the bank is making 1% per year or 2% per year or max, 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 three or five percent. But you just by using Bollinger Band, by apply it stupidly, I would say. Even if that's not stupid, that's based on deep mathematics, but just by applying Bollinger Band, you can make 10% in two weeks, which is quite good. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next Python application, which will be designed for Ishimoku Kinkoyo algorithm. Bye.